What's up guys? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons and welcome to another video. So we just made it home from the Mid-America Truck Show and golly bum, I'm so excited to be home. But at the same time, we have got to get back to work. Or I'm supposed to be in Florida Monday morning to pick up a boat. So we got tomorrow to get prepped and get going. And since I've been gone, you know, I've been trying to run the business from my phone, from laptop, from you know, just trying to do everything remotely, which has been, it's amazing that we got through it. It was stressful. It was a lot of work, a lot of aggravation, a lot of stress, but we've got through it. Dad, Ashley, the girls in the office, they all kicked butt while I was gone. You know, they called me when they needed me, but for the most part, they handled it like a champ. The business is still standing. We're still here. We're still ready to go. So my plan is I've got four meetings, four very, very important meetings this week. So dad's going to go to Florida and pick up this boat and bring it back here to the shop. And then I'm going to take the boat from here and deliver it in Connecticut. So this ain't just any boat that you would put anybody on. Like it's taken a lot of trust and dad used to do this for me. So you guys know I started this business. I think I started in 2015 and dad come over when I said, dad, I'm starting a trucking business. You know, we were both owner operators at the time, at the time, leased onto a company in Michigan. You know, I said, hey, I want to start a business. I need your help. Um, are you willing to bring your truck over and lease it on and drive for me? And my stepdad and um, one other guy, and they all said, you know what? If you got this thing rolling in, in six months, we'll all come over. Well, it was tough but we made it happen and as soon as we hit that dad actually come over a little quicker than six months it was actually about four months so dad come over with his truck dewey came over and uh, wade so that's when we started and we done potatoes for about two years and then when i had my motorcycle wreck um, i was in the hospital well when i come out of the shop i couldn't do the mechanic work anymore i couldn't do everything that i was doing I just wasn't capable. I couldn't walk. So I went back in the truck and dad come off the road. I bought his truck from him. He come off the road and then uh, I started hauling boats. That's what I'd done. I was, as soon as I walked out of the hospital, went and bought a boat trailer and started hauling boats. And then dad, uh, you know, he helped me around the shop. And then as soon as I was healed up enough to where I could come home and start working on trucks and doing the maintenance and keeping things going, he got into Rooster and he started hauling the big boats. So dad's got experience doing it. I have complete confidence in him. And uh, he's a little bit nervous about going. It's been a while since he's been in the truck or even pulled a boat, but I'm very confident he can handle it. So one thing I want to say is I love working with my dad. You know, not many people get to say that they get to work every single day hand in hand with their dad. And that's one thing that I love about this channel. That's what I love about what me and Braxton get to do. What you guys get to see me do with Braxton, my dad did with me. When I was able to just, I wasn't even able to see over the steering wheel, dad had me behind the wheel of a truck and he's taught me everything that I know. I mean, so it is so awesome to get to work with my dad and he has supported me from day one. All my crazy ventures, we might fight and argue, and but at the end of the day, we support each other. This company is just as much my dad's as it is mine, the way I look at it. That's why I try to pay them so well. That's why I try to make sure everybody gets just as much, you know, they get to reap just as much benefits as I do. There's not a decision that gets made that I don't talk to my dad about. And, you know, there's a lot of times he says, you're crazy, don't do that. And then at the end of the day, he supports it no matter what. So it's, it's an amazing feeling and it's also amazing that I'll be able to sleep at night knowing that he's got this big job handled and I've got somebody that has my back like that. So it means a lot to have my dad here. And I don't get to say that a lot on the channel, but I'm taking this opportunity to say it because it is an amazing feeling. It's an amazing company and I don't think I would have this company and I don't think it'd be where it's at without the help that I have. I have a very, very supportive family and they are all here and they work their butts off. So. We got that happening and we've got Steve from FSC Trucking. If you guys hadn't checked him out on YouTube, go check him out. So he come home from Matt's with us and uh, went to his son's wedding and he's actually gonna drive down from North Carolina and meet dad in Florida. 
he's going to run the camera truck back from Florida and get all the footage and all that stuff. So big shout out, big thanks to Steve for doing that for us. So we want to be able to share this with you guys. So if you hadn't checked out his channel, guys, FSC Trucking on YouTube, go check it out. Hit the subscribe button. Um, he's a great guy. He's a great friend. And he's, he's really been supportive of everything that we're doing here. And he's also going to help us chase this load he's went and got certified got his truck ready i mean he has done the whole nine yards just to be able to be a part of this thing so a lot of respect for the guy and a big thank you for coming to help us film this video so guys we're going to get to it love y'all thanks for being here how long has it been since you hauled a boat three years two three years yeah i mean a big boat yeah it's been since a couple years. Off the road. has it been longer than a couple years it's been four years has it been that long? It's been four years. Okay, so dad come off the road four years ago and hasn't hauled a big dang. You sure you want to go? <laughs> Dude, this, I ain't right? worried, dad handle it. It's been four years. Mm-mm. Not three. three. 19, 21. This is going on four years. Thing about it is, this trailer makes it easy. Oh, yeah, I didn't have this stuff. For this no being 10 foot wide is just the only thing. It's a little weird. But you'll be all right. I'm confident Dad will be okay. I was, I got his bloodline. I was born to haul boats, so I feel like he'll be fine. He's taking my baby. Dang, Rooster's getting ready to go. I hear an air leak. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and the refrigerator. You have a refrigerator in there, Daddy? Yep. See you, buddy. Dang, yes. Trailer's close. The thing don't like to swing. You get talked into this stuff this morning. <laughs> Gotta be done. There you are. You know how we are, Steve. Yo, oh, yeah. I'm gonna double check all my cover wraps. And I'm gonna measure the boat one more time before we leave. Oh, there we go. Is that a 45 foot fountain? Not fountain, fountain. formula. Climb on top, measure it out, just make sure you don't double check. Them bridges get pretty scary when you go under them. Well, this whole thing was a cluster F from the beginning because it was supposed to be a little different dimensions than what it turned out to be. Yeah, it was supposed to be in under 13.6. When I pulled in the lot down there and I go, oh, no. Yeah, that ain't no 13.6, brother. We first loaded it at 16 foot. Then we wiggled it around, wiggled it down, and got it down to 15.6. And that's the lowest we can get it. 
they are. And uh, she's doing good. Them 16 foot bridges get pretty scary when you go under. <laughs> so we're just, I'm just hoping they ain't anything less than 16 foot. There you go. If it is, we're going to crawl under them. They loaded out of Fort Lauderdale. I didn't get down there quite yet, so we wound up getting a uh, pole car and a tail car, so I'll be riding in behind, behind all of them. We'll be doing videography while we're in Florida. I'll take over the tail duty once we get in the door. The story that we understand is this boat was sold. He picked it up in Fort Lauderdale. And it's going to Connecticut. I don't know the name of the town exactly where in Connecticut. But it's a Formula 45. That is a big boy right there. That is a big boy right there. It's not really wide. You got to bear in mind though. That trailer is deceiving. A trailer is 10 feet wide all by itself. So the boat don't look as big on this trailer. You put it on a normal trailer, it looks monstrous. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Man, I need to get me one. I really need to get me one. Yikes!
Copy lines in lane four. Copy that. Jersey's tight on lane one. Lane 
three, I'm sorry, lane three. Jersey tight, lane three. Roger the three. I 
get to the fuel islands from here. I'm gonna go around this building, I guess. That's what I gotta do. Dan Thor. Where's the TA at? Right here, Light is falling in. Watch your inside turn. Alright, right turn. Yeah, it's right turn here. Yeah, you right, and then you gotta take a left, but I don't know, I think you're gonna have to go all the way around this place to get over to the fuel island. Actually, hey, find us go the wrong way down this lane, I'll hold them up. The wrong way? Yeah, go the wrong way, I'll hold them up. Stop it. Oh, I'm telling you, my blood pressure is really high. Free base of Lysinopril. You'll be all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. I get calmed down here in a little bit, driving down the road. There you go. I think what happened last night is them bags had raised up a little. Probably. Because I can actually go back there and drop them bags a little. Yeah, a little bit. Well, we're going to right along. Well, Hoodie set the pole at 16. 16.4. Yeah, so 16 we only need to close. Six inches higher than what your normal height is. There you go. Where's the rest? Of
tight, brother, tight. lane the first one and you can stay over in lane three and make this swing want to worry about the lights there would be my suggestion got two blockers so it should be easy i'll go on through in a second her first trip by the way. This is her first boat haul. Her first ever tail escort. We got a trooper and a median facing us. More gator. I'll be quiet about it in a minute. Somebody had a bad day.
All right, so what you saw was the pole car moved over and he got underneath that one sign at the lowest point. Pole car set for like 16. He's basically six inches higher than the highest part of the boat. So if he strikes it, that gives Finus only a six inch or less clearance. That way if anything uh, surprises him, he'll be able to creep under or no, or pull over and put a man up on top of the boat and figure it out. It is a little easier if you have me behind, that way there's a way that, uh, a little extra help. Now the lady in the pilot car directly, in or the tail car, I should say, right in front of us, this is her very first load uh, as any kind of escort ever, so you gotta give her a lot of credit. She meets all the criteria Florida requires, but her CB is a handheld. So she can hear us, but we can't hear her. But I already gave her a couple of uh, tidbits of information saying like, basically, if you need to holler at, at Finus about something, just get on the radio and holler anyway. He'll hear you and know you're trying to do something and be able to look and determine what it is. Even if he doesn't know what it is, or even if he doesn't hear you say what it is, he'll be able to figure it out. And the man's got plenty of experience. Now, it's been five years for Finest since he was last on a run like this, or I think any run for that matter. Tell He's handled like a pro. Obviously, he drives different from Timmy, but that's just the way it goes. Now, D got on this all because I wasn't down here when he initially started to run, so they're like, all right, well, she'll take it through Florida, and then I'll take it up from Georgia all the way out to Connecticut. We're going to stop quick in Tennessee, through through uh, their yard or right nearby it and then uh i'm not sure if tim's gonna take over if i'm gonna take over that'll be on a whole nother video I'm off as far as I can go now. 
Bear in mind where you are, the shoulder's a couple inches lower on the pavement. Yeah, but I'm on the road on the left side. I'm telling our pole car we're two, three inches lower than the pavement right now. I'm going to check lane one side. It looks like it's better over there. Now, if I need to, I can drop my bags. Well, I, I hit about two inches down going out. So if you creep up there and hang over to the right, but I think lane one is going to be better if I can get over there. Alright guys, so that's where we're going to finish off part one. This is going to be a three-part video. It just gets crazier and crazier as we go on. We've still got to get this thing from here to Connecticut. And 16 foot tall and Connecticut just don't go together. Those two things just, they just don't go together. But we're going to try to make it happen. We're going to try to make it happen safely. We're going to try to make sure we got a good, happy customer. And the next two videos, you guys are probably going to be the, on the edge of your seats. So get ready for some awesome footage. We love you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.